What's up? So I just had a little ranting and raving in the studio. And, of course, the camera wasn't rolling. And I know it should be. Capture those moments that are right then and there. And they need to be captured because they're powerful and they're, they're emotional. And they are... usually something that pisses me off so this this rant I just had a little while ago in the studio was feeling disrespected I think respect is something that has gotten lost in translation somewhere and what it means and respecting one another respecting yourself and I feel like We don't do enough respecting of each other and of ourselves. Maybe it's because I was brought up with respect and discipline as being every day. There was no, well, I'll be disrespectful today and get away with it. Her, eh, I won't be disciplined today and I won't, you know, I won't listen to my mom or I'll talk back or. There was none of that. It was, you did it, and you you created a habit of doing it, and it became who you were, and you did it consistently. And respect can be a whole 20-minute conversation, and I'll touch more, more upon it later, but I just, one thing in particular today that pissed me off is members or clients who come into the studio ready for a change, wanting a change, asking me for help, Asking Karen for help. Asking coaches in our studio for help. And of course, I love challenges. I love goals. I, I live by goals. So, I give you an opportunity to tell me your goal. And I thank you for the opportunity to take on that goal. And your goal becomes my goal. And we work on them together. And the things you need help with, I help you out with. And I ask for some things in return in order to help me help you get to your goal, which is now our goal or goals. And then you put a lot of effort into these goals. And when you, who gave me the goal in the beginning, are now preventing me from getting to my goal, which was originally your goal, which became our goal, you're preventing me from getting there. I get pissed. I get annoyed. I get aggravated. Because I can't control what you do. However, you gave me a goal. So I take possession of it. That's my goal now. Let's go. Let's do this. And at some point, don't get me wrong, in the beginning, Especially if it's some obstacles that are are over, we, you can overcome them in the beginning. I'm very gentle, and I help you out, and I give you all the the positive reinforcement that you need. Constructive criticism, of course, but I get you to where you need to be. I've done it over and over and over. So in the beginning, I'm not this pissed off, but it's after a while. When it's like we think about how we can do things differently. Okay, well, what was your challenge? How can we help? Well, let's figure out this. Well, I feel like this when I go for food or I feel like this. Okay, so what are your emotional attachments to that, whatever it is? And how can we get through it? And I'm always trying to recreate things and trying to get around it. And sometimes you just got to stop thinking and start becoming Stop analyzing why it went wrong, how it went wrong. And it's a simple switch. You flick the switch. And become what you need to become. Now there's some areas in my life that I'm starting to take my own advice with. But fitness, nutrition, changing my body has never been an issue for me. It's other areas that 
I got to start taking my own advice in. But that particular situation is is who I am. So that's easy for me. So that's my rant. I got it off my chest. The Anthony Minetti Project, formerly known as Project My Life. Thank you for the opportunity.